Well, here's the Sphere Gyro, the 1261A, 1950s era Navy um, F9F5 gyroscope. I uh, made a couple of changes, uh, put everything back together on here, including this this thing, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that, but it has a, a rattle in it. It's all solid put together, but it, I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that or not. And I ground off one of the little stops here, so this will do 360 continuously. So it'll go both ways. Both gimbals are fully articulated now. Um, redid the wiring and a uh, flash of stroke of uh, idea. Uh, you mount it for a, a mount, just mount on the other side, upside down. I had to grind off the and preserve the nameplates. It shows the, the model contract and all of that but now it's up here um, seems to be well balanced it's hard I, I don't have enough uh, lab equipment to really finely balance but let's point this on a piece of wood point it north and south switch on the signal source power on the power eventually I'll get some more power. I don't think it's a matter of power as much as probably impedance matching. These are made for low impedance, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, and only gets about uh, 80, 80 volts out into a 20 uh, 8 ohm load. This wants 115 volts, so it's a bit under voltage. If I had some uh, uh, you know, one to two step-up transformers would probably work wonders. But that's it. It's spinning up. And it doesn't take much to start getting the uh, gyroscope effect. It precesses nicely. One idea, if this gets balanced and works well enough you can detect the rotation of the earth but I don't know if this is going to be accurate enough. Anyway it's all put together down. A real gyroscope. These are hard, hard to find a good gyroscope. All you find are little toys. It'll take a while to spin up.